Hello everyone, this is Moses from Zatar Gardens. I'm going to show you a trick I do or just a, a method that I grow my grass in so I don't have to water so much in the summer. Uh, or not much at all actually, front and back lawns. Um, I buy uh, garden soil, the natural type that, that has a lot of broken down forest material and wood products and all that. I throw it over the lawn and I rake it in. Nice and fine material. It's great for this usage of uh, retaining moisture in your lawns. So everyone has to remember that grass is a living thing. Most of it, well, actually everybody should know that. But it's part of your garden. I use this lawn, like you can tell this is part of my garden. I have the raised bed, all fruit trees, trees in the side of the house, and garden in the front of the house. There's a lot of plants, herbs, bushes. I'll do a tour in a little bit here. Not right now. I want things to flush out a little bit more instead of just showing you sticks um, and defoliated trees. But I use the grass. As you could tell, this is about, I would say, 15 by 20 square feet that's how much room i'm giving my uh, well this is part of a deal i made with my family if i took on this garden like i did i will put a lawn like this in for my son and stuff so i'm glad i did but still i use this grass as a living mulch when i cut it up i put it in a pile as you can see right there i let it decompose down and then i put it around my trees it's a good living material but putting this, I haven't raked this yet, but putting this cover on here, raking it in helps provide soil retention, oh, well, excuse me, water retention, and uh, ensures that the, the grass, like you saw in the beginning picture of last uh, year's lawn, how it looked, how lush it looked, there is no weed and feed. There is no chemical sprays. That's just doing this and then spraying with the seaweed extract. So after I <clears throat> put it on top of the grass, you just get your rake and slowly sift through it and just blend it in. And this will help retain the moisture in your soil. Right underneath the grass, and slowly you won't see it anymore. It was unsight uh, unsightly in the beginning, and after a while, you don't even know if it was there. Instead of it being sand <clears throat> under this grass, now it has wood chips and other broken down material. There's some more over here. Yeah, I don't know. It's worked for me in the past. Uh, it's from my, you know, how I garden with thick layers of wood chips. I said, why can't I just do it to my lawn as well? And I used to get wood chips from, you know, tree services and sift it out through a through a quarter inch screen and all this, a lot of work. So I just got bags of, you know, the really coarse uh, garden soil. It has a lot of wood chips, broken down material and all that. Throw it on, rake it in, I'm done. All right, everyone, happy gardening. I'm gonna be busy. Front and backyard has to be done today. Happy gardening, everyone, bye.